summertime is here, and the sweet smell of smoke is filling the air. And to kick it off, 12 nationally acclaimed pitmasters and 12 backyard cooks are pairing up to bring you the greatest backyard cooking show in America. This is Barbecue Country. So, fried fish, your favorite? Halibut? You know, I'm treat. excited because I have never had halibut before. So. One thing I really I've don't know what to expect. I've never had fried salmon. Really? Have you ever had fried I've never salmon? I've never had fried salmon either. Ooh, hey. What we got here? What's cooking? How are you doing? <laughs> What's up, guys? Fancy yeah. meeting you here. Hey, guys, this is Barbecue Country. Found a couple of people looking for a challenge today. Miss Tina Cannon, Michael Johnson, both professional pit masters, ready to show you what they got. Guys, meet Mark Lambert, seven time world champion, better known as Sweet Swan of Mine. Beside him, co hosting, is Peyton Aldrich. He is a Nashville recording artist and singer songwriter of American Backyard. That's right, baby. Well, it's fancy seeing y'all here, but yeah. I'm glad you're here. Good to see you guys. Nice to meet y'all. You know what you're cooking today? Do you? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. No. You like fish? Yeah. Good. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. That's good. So we've got some great fish today from Got Main Lobster. They brought in some Nova Scotia salmon, some beautiful side of halibut. We cut it yesterday. You're going to love it. I just hope you guys have a really good side to go with it. We'll come up with something. The backyard cooks come up with something too. So you guys have to strategize and decide how they're going to prepare it. So keep in mind, this is their game. You guys are here to elevate it. So how you're going to prepare that, that fish and how you prepare that side and uh, how you're going to do it in two hours. No fancy elements in the, the presentation here like in barbecue competitions. We're just doing it family style. Mm. After two hours, you guys are going to bring it to the door. We're going to cut it up and we're going to serve it family style. And we're all going to sit down and eat it together and talk about it and decide who the best backyard cook in America is. Sound good? Sounds pretty good. Sounds good. What you making? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so the dish, the side dish won't necessarily be a complimentary to I mean to the fish it shouldn't be like a if we're going a certain genre like a hey, certain sauce would go with halibut and risotto it could be okay you know salmon with uh, lemon dill sauce and capers and you know it could be uh Getting fancy whatever you want <laughs> anything we want okay you're gonna be judged on the side dish as well as the protein and make it taste good okay, make it taste good. okay. Mm -hmm. it's uh we can do that so it's one of those things that they're gonna have to uh, try to keep up, so to speak. You guys know what you're doing. Uh, these guys, I don't know what their level of expertise is, but I know you guys can help them a lot. So we're looking forward to seeing how it all comes together. Yeah, that's right. Let's go out and meet these guys and get you paired up and get you cooking. Cool, can't wait. <laughs> Will, Hunter, this is Barbecue Country. I want you to meet seven-time world champion, sweet swan of mine, Mark Lambert. To my left, Peyton Aldridge, Nashville recording artist, singer-songwriter of American Backyard. Today, we're cooking fish. And we've got Mike Johnson and Tina Cannon here to help you guys. They're professional cooks. They can teach you a lot. But on the other hand, sometimes the simplest things win. So I hope you guys teach them something as well. So <laughs> you're gonna rely on your side and they brought a side dish as well. So you gotta decide what you're gonna go, what direction you're gonna use, what method you're gonna use to cook it. Salmon and halibut with your best side. And uh, you've got at least an hour, up to two hours to produce that side and that protein. You can use anything in this area that you deem necessary or anything up in this set in the pantry, anything you want, but use your time and resources wisely. Two hours goes by in the blink of an eye and you don't want to be at the end of it holding the bag and not have your product turned in. So good luck. You guys get after it and good luck to you. Cool. All right, today, Hunter, you're paired with Tina. Will, you're cooking with Mike. Uh, Mike. You're, you're the guy? Yeah, you're I'm, my I, guy. I think so, yeah. What I was thinking about doing, I was gonna do a, um, I was gonna just kind of do a quick blanch of the salmon uh -huh. and I was going to use the rosemary, go Southwest, kind of text max. You think it's Southwest? Okay, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just go tex Megs. Okay. And then I was going to do cowboy corn and my little salute to Texas. Okay. Is that and where you're from? No. Uh, my name is Will Ryan. I, I live in Lenore, North Carolina. And um, what else am I supposed to say? This is going to get mixed with some butter and four cans of corn. Okay. 
and that's it. I just think whatever we do, we're gonna have to doctor up a little bit. Like if we're gonna do cowboy corn, if yeah. we're gonna do that, I, I have bacon. Yeah. I, These I are my had, lucky tongs. Yeah, okay, I say we had some bacon or something or yeah. some scallion or something just to doctor up a little bit if that's where you wanna go. I was paired with Mike and I didn't know who he was when I got paired with him. So I brought a kind of a Southern South Carolina side that can incorporate a nice sauce into it. I brought like okay. some stuff to make shrimp and grits. And we can see her halibut or salmon, we can make a shrimp grit sauce, kind of. We hit it off right away, and um, we had it going on, for sure. And then I also brought something a little crazy, if you want to think outside the box. Yeah. An easy barbecue side I do is like bacon and crab fried rice. I'm Mike Johnson from Sugar Fire Smokehouse in St. Louis. I own a bunch of barbecue restaurants. I'm the world burger champion. That's pretty exciting. I would much rather you do something if you've already done it, because I can't help, I can just sit here and like help talk yeah. you through it. Yeah, the only reason why I wanted to keep it simple it's because I know how these cooking shows are, man. They try to throw you for a loop. I wanted to keep it simple yeah. so that their curveballs that they're going to throw at me okay. won't send me two sideways. Okay. I, I don't think that, that if we go Asian, I don't think that would, I think this is about as easy yeah. as it gets. The simpler it is, the easier it is to cook it perfectly. And do you think this is enough? This is going to be enough to to blow the judge's mind to make you win? So I was paired with Will. He, he's a wild animal. I know how to cook. Okay, bro, yeah. I would go I would um, go more. I'm, I'm not backyard, I would, I'm, I'm I'm more like front yard. Yeah. No, he didn't intimidate me at all. If anything, I probably intimidated him. I can be very imposing. What are you looking for in these guys out here today? Fish is so easy to mess up, meaning yeah. it's so easy to overcook. Over yeah. Both of them need to be turned in medium to medium rare like the steak. When you cut it, that center should have that same texture of medium rare steak. Gotcha. You gotta keep uh, it simple in this game, but it's about the execution. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what you've got. So I was thinking a chipotle lime um, sauce on the halibut. I'm, yeah. not a, I'm not a salmon person, so. Oh, okay, well then that's cool. My name's Hunter Luckemeyer. I'm from Alito, Texas, and cooking is a passion for me. Side, I was going to do a uh, street corn. I was mm -hmm. going to make a cilantro crema to sprinkle so over the... So you're going like southwest kind of total. Tex -Mex. Is that your... Yes, ma'am. Okay. My favorite thing to cook are big meats, briskets, pork butts, you know, dinosaur ribs. I was thinking if, if I had time, mm -hmm. since we've got bourbon as a sponsor, do like a, a, a like peach, almost a dessert. bourbon, brown sugar. Well, have, if we got time. I know you haven't competed, but when you compete, mm -hmm. like for instance, brisket or something like that, you put the best thing in your entry. I'm Tina Cannon. I came here to win in barbecue country and coach the best backyard cook in America. So if you try to do three things, four things, they better be perfect. I, like, I don't know your skill level. I don't know if you know my skill level. I've seen it. Okay. I've been competing since 2009 in barbecue. I've won many, many championships and over 300 awards, so I think I've got something to show. Too bad we can't eavesdrop and know what they're doing. <laughs> Tina, she's a professional competitor. She's been on lots of TV shows. She's cooked lots of different stuff all over the world. It'll be interesting to see whether they go crazy or whether they keep it simple. She's very intimidating. You don't want to do both fishes. That's you a... feel comfortable with that? Yes, ma'am. You do? Hunter says I'm intimidating. I don't think I'm intimidating. I mean, I'm 5'2", a little chubby old lady. We're doing both? And just put the best one on there? Or put both on there? Put both. It's rock and roll. But I mean, are you comfortable with that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You know, for a little person, she can uh, really get her, get her point across. I'm not intimidating. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Wait, should we get this sucker going? Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak 100% charcoal pellets. The only 100% charcoal pellet in the market that delivers the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Charcoal pellets produce better flavor, higher heat, and are even water resistant so they won't clog your grill unlike ordinary wood pellets. Plus, 100% charcoal pellets are safe to use in all pellet grills. Unleash your inner pit master and make the switch today from the ordinary to the extraordinary with Royal Oak 100% charcoal pellets. So has the two hours started already? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. We're okay. The we're only thinking. 30, 40 right. minutes in right well, now. So does that mean I got to quit cussing? <laughs> They're doing onions and pepper. So are you are you adamant about the Southwest thing? What? Is it something you've you're, you're, you're the professional, so. 
Have you cooked it before? I've never done Caribbean. If we get to stay here and cook together, why don't we do them both, taste them, and we'll send them what we like the most. Okay. Well, do you know how to prepare fish? Like check it for bones and... Yes. Okay, well that's good. You know more than I know. Yeah. So where is our fish? It should be in the cooler, I think. Want to smoke some bacon, maybe? Yes, we gotta do something smoked because it's barbecue country. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and start smoking stuff now. I didn't know you were bringing special gifts, man. I have shrimp and I have crab. I think even when I'm pressed the judges, I don't think you can just like sauce the fish. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I had this mentality that I was gonna be backyard. And I was like, I'm going backyard all the way. Yeah. And that's kind of the angle I was we're in a at. We're the junkyard dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a really hot tribal fire grill made by an expert. Yeah. You know, we can yeah. get some crispy shrimp on there. Dude, uh, that yeah, yeah. Great. We'll mix that in with on top of the fish. With it. I, I think I think that's gonna be what, enough to win. I'm gonna take the belly off to make this more uniform. Okay. And we can eat that as a snack. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So, as far as products, did you study the pantry? Yes, ma'am. And? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go grab some stuff then. Tell me about these lucky tongs. What makes them so lucky now? I just dubbed them my lucky tongs. Yeah. Um, they're really not. <laughs> lucky tongs. Yeah. Do you click them twice or three times? Yeah, two. <laughs> yep, yep, two. <laughs> Got a lot of vinegar in there. Ooh, we're had our first disagreement as a couple. Ooh. Done. This isn't career day here. The class yeah. ticket. I didn't know you were waiting on me. Doing good. Minutes. 41 minutes in. You're doing pretty good. 41 minutes. Oh, <laughs> sh Who designed this thing? Some wing nut. His brother made this, designed this grill. Yeah, if brother, you, if my, you lose on your brother's this. design, bro, I don't know. You might become the black sheep. What are you going to do with the bacon? I'm going to get it out, put it on here, and then I'm going to chop it up and then put it over the uh, corn. You probably need to get it on. Yes, ma'am. Or we could borrow a handful of theirs. Do you know how to pull the skin <laughs> off? No. You're gonna keep your fingers holding the skin down. Keep it flat and go like this. So confusing. Back and forth slow, don't tear it up too much. You're doing perfect, there you go. Look at that, right. now look at that. Okay. Wow, pro style butchery right there, look at that. We still have to have time to taste, so we probably need to get a move on on time. <sighs> yes, ma'am. What's your thoughts so far? Well. He's never had halibut, and I'm glad I talked him into not using that chipotle yeah. on such delicate fish. He's very agreeable. I'll get him to stay away from the chipotle. Good Lord, it smells good. Oh, wait, this is what they're cooking. Never mind. <laughs> I shouldn't say that out loud, right? <laughs> we need another tribal. Yes. It's pretty hot. Yes, we do. All right, you ready? Yeah, here we go. Right in there. Hey, I work with men my whole life, so don't, you don't got to be that sweet. So if you don't like this, look at me. Tell me. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You know, my wife tells me that all the time. Oh, yeah. You ain't got to be it. agreeable all the time. Yeah, just say it. Yeah. There we go. Dump that whole thing in there. We're going to make like a uh, wasabi honey mustard, kind of like a Chinese mustard. Okay. And then we're going to have a nice yeah. teriyaki glaze, um, barbecue glaze. Do a light uh, teaspoon to start. About right nah, no there. Nah. Right there. So we're singing <laughs> I'm going to grab you some honey. Okay. So what kind of songs did you write? Oh, man, I'm a country artist. You're a country yeah. artist? Okay. So you wrote songs about. Beer, grandma, grandma, roads. grandma picking you up from jail. Hey, no doubt. Hey, no doubt. <laughs> I hope you haven't been there yet. Twice, just kidding. Oh, Lord. Yeah. About 43 minutes you guys have been cooking. Yeah? You got all your ducks in a row? We're not uh, cooking not duck. Not really, but that's the way we do it backyard. <laughs> well. When you do it backyard, you do it backyard. If your fish are swimming real in the direction you want them to, I hope they are, because uh, the backyard guys, you guys are the cooks here. The mentors have had 43 minutes to help you out. Well, <laughs> now the mentors are gonna have to go into the back and you guys gonna have to run on your own steam. No oh, It's up to you. Huh? So the mentors have to exit uh, and go to the party table. Right now. And y'all get to have to finish okay. up on your own. Hey, hey. So, Can I yell at him from a distance? You gotta finish on your own, but you've got three minutes to save him. So if you see something you need to help on, you can, you can call it in. If you see something he's doing wrong, you can come in. Three minutes is all you have after that. Right now? I gotta leave? You gotta leave. You see it flaking, put this on. Okay. And it, it hey Mike, last Tina, y'all okay? come back here and join Peyton and I. Okay. Oh Lord, all right. Any questions for no, our goal? All right. No, Shit. hug. <laughs> Here's our shrimp for that. We got crab Mike, on you. 
Okay, here I'm coming. <laughs> no, there's no hanging out. We're gonna... He's hanging on. I'm going to run back over and get my minute. Man, you just threw me in the weeds, man. Um, here, Mike, let me tell you how this is going to work. Stand over here. <laughs> I'm ready for a shot. You get one three minute save today. Okay. We will time you. You can go in and make corrections. Okay. Anytime you want. Time flies. Get it done. It's time to start winging it. Hey, you'll be all right. You got more than an hour to finish. You'll be good. All right, cool. All this stuff works really quick. It's more of an assembly process. Okay. Good luck, man. Heck yeah, man. All right, so I got to probably slow down. All right, see those two chalkboards? What's on top of those two chalkboards? Oh, God. Why didn't Look, you make your notes on the chalkboard? All my notes are on the computer. I'm kidding. I should have. I know. Um, I didn't see it. I didn't. It's my fault. Do you think they remember everything you told them? No way, I can, Jose. I can <laughs> see right now that they're not. Here we go. Here we go. I can already see a problem, Big Sam. Hey, Hunter, Will, these guys are already concerned now that we're getting to the truth of the matter. Hey, he got me on the sauce, so. Yeah, we're good. I'm going to ask you one question, though. Would it have helped if either one of these guys wrote their instructions on these chalkboards behind you? It would have helped if we had followed my recipe. <laughs> Hunter, would that chalkboard have helped? Yeah, it would have helped. When you get a chance later, tell them about it. I really got too much time on my hands, to be honest with you. No, you, you don't have as much as you think. You don't have much Wait, as you, you think. Wait, you said I had an hour. You do. All right, so I got plenty of time. So, actually, <laughs> tell me about He's doing great. He's a, he's cooked some some before. His brother is a is also a famous pitmaster. So hopefully mm -hmm. the apple don't fall too far from the tree. I need to know my timing. How long is this fish going to take you to cook? Five minutes. Okay. How long is that going to take you to cook? Five minutes. Okay. I and mean, I'm really. I need. Gonna take you it's all about timing right now. Ten minutes to plate it. And five minutes. Okay. So you got 15, I mean, 15 minutes. So you got to about finish. 38, 40 minutes to spare. Before you get going, where's the bathroom? Bathroom? Yeah, I gotta pee. Across the street? The schoolhouse where you checked in is where the bathroom is. Dang, nabbit. But it sounds like you got all the time in the world. Back What's going right on here. down there? Come right here, Mr. What's going so on? Will, so Will said he's done right now. No, he said he's done right now. He no. said he's got too much no. time on his hands. No, he doesn't. He's so far behind. And, uh, no. He said it's gonna take no him chance. five minutes to no. cook the fish. No, 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 five no, no, no. To, no. Uh, five, bell. five minutes to plate stuff. Is it time? Five minutes to do his rice. No. So he's the now big thing. No. He's got he's got too much time. Is the rice cooked? Yeah. Y'all yeah. cooked it or did y'all uh, use no, ready I use rice? No, package ready rice. Uh, it's the best. Yeah. Well. Time, time. How much time do I have now? Don't know. Still got to be at least an hour. Hold on a second. Hey, Will. Yes, sir. I got a heart attack happening. You're done already? I I mean I got. He's telling me I have an hour. No, but you, because he's getting ready to ring a bell. He's telling me you need a save. It's only going to take me like eight minutes to cook this fish. Don't say nothing unless you ring that bell. Hunter? Yes, sir. How you feeling? Feeling good. Here you go. Look at here. You ready? Look at here. There you go. You got it? I'll give it no, to I, you. No, I, gotta, I do have a plan, though. Oh, you do? OK. Then hey, hey Will, there. you're doing a great job, buddy. Hell. Where's your salmon? Over here? Wait, where did we put it? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. Oh, it's right here. Just tell me when there's a half hour left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up. You only something. got three minutes. I know, I know. I can, I can do. What I gotta do in three minutes. Let me get back down to the action down here. These guys are, they're, they're making me paranoid, man. Um, hey, take it out on your competitor. The hunter seems, he's all chill. Yeah, he's chill. I man. think he's, he's good. This ain't your first rodeo, is it? Oh lord, he's so calm. That's... My guy's so calm, and I'm like not. I, I'll give you, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you I what. I don't want to be too hard on him. He's I'll already from Texas. I'll give you one response. Uh, Tina, go first. Tell your guy something. Just one. Hey, turn up the pellet cooker. What? Turn it up. I did. What's it on? 320, 312 right now. I got it on 325. All right, you're done. <laughs> Put your salmon in the smoker. Make sure you're done with everything 15 minutes before turning. Don't, oh. don't try and wait till turning. Is that all you're you done. Need? The salmon's down low below you. There you go. I with, thought it was already would, in there. No, no. Ah. Just make sure you're done with everything 15 to 10, 10 to 15 minutes before. We're All right, done you're done. All right. 10 to 15 minutes? Done with everything. Yep. Now, you got to ring your bell. What made you want to do street corn? 
I'm from Texas, and elote, street corn. It's just a normal deal, it's, everyday yeah, deal? Yeah, it's, you know, you go to the gas station, grab a couple of lotes. What part of Texas are you from? Uh, living right outside of Fort Worth. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta look up notes on your phone. <laughs> you need those notes? <laughs> hey. Hey. I don't need my phone. It's getting hot up here. <laughs> I was like, uh -huh. I'm gonna save my three minutes till, like, so, when there's how, how do we know how much time, left. actual time there is? Mark will call the time. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Hunter, do you want me to pull this bacon off for you? What's that? You want me to pull this bacon for you? Or you I'm uh, about to grab it. Okay. I appreciate right. it. I'm just trying to back you up, man. I'm, you know. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm just trying to get it good it and looks crispy. <laughs> it looks good. Where'd you bring that bacon from? Uh, back home. What you doing with the bacon? Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle it over top of the corn. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Cause uh, I'll put that, I'll put some, uh, the, the queso fresco. Just like a little salsa to go on the side of the fish? Yeah, I was gonna just put it over the salt, uh, the top of the fish cool. and then drizzle some of that uh, cilantro crema on it. Awesome, dude. Hey, Peyton. Hey. Is he really that calm? Oh man, he's calm and collective. He's got it. He's got it, man. He's, he's got like, it. man, I got this. How much time do I got now? 10 minutes less than you had a while ago. All right, well hell, I'm gonna go pee because. Might as well. Might as well, right? He's gone. There he goes. Your guy's like. <laughs> he left. Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak Charcoal for the ultimate flavor experience. Royal Oak Charcoal gives your food the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Royal Oak making phenomenal products. I love that it's American. I love that flavor in the char. The original red bag, that's the one brand that I've ran to. Unleash your inner pit master with Royal Oak and use the charcoal trusted by barbecue pros and backyard grillers. Visit RoyalOak.com for recipes from the best pit masters in barbecue and to find a retailer near you. Your guy's like, he left. Hey, he said he was tired. Yeah. I think what I would do, I'd ring that bell and I'd go in while he's gone. And I'd get back out. Can I do that? <laughs> if that's what you need to do. <laughs> that's smart. That way he's not. I think he's, is he going to drive back to South He's Dale? gone. There he goes. He's <laughs> over there. This is the best twist ever. He's going to come over here. <laughs> Can I ring the bell? Come cook everything? He said yeah. he was tired. He's going to take three minutes and do it. He's going to ring the bell and come in and finish for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do it? So. Do it. He said he needed a nap. Ring it like you mean it yeah. and go get it going. Hit it hard. Okay, go. Wait, wait, wait. Ring it all the way. Okay, Ring it. So I need it. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. You got three minutes, Mike. Do what you can right. do, buddy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe he Cook left. Something. <laughs> oh, boy. I've never seen somebody leave the pit and just. Where is he now? He's out there walking I around. thought he was coming back. Are y'all timing? He's three minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's doing good. He already got an extra minute. He can't smoke a cigarette in three minutes. You got plenty of time. He's inhaling it. <laughs> this is the funniest. Hey, your save started about two minutes ago. Sweet, man. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Give me three minutes. Let's go. Let's, no, let's talk. Let's talk. I want to. Let's get this stuff done and just warm. In All a, right. So, well, in they were hotel. telling me that I had to time it. No, no. I, I just the, the last ten minutes are going to come up way too quick for us. Okay. You know All what right. I'm saying? Cool. Let's do it. Mike, we're going to give you about one more minute if Tina agrees. What? You want to give him another? He's just, already had an extra minute. Well, maybe he'll give it to you. Too. Oh. Just make sure this seasoned up, tastes good. It's going to get scallions in there. Okay. Crab, bacon, don't forget the bacon. Oh, where's the crab? There it is. Yeah, right. bacon. Ooh, that bacon's looking good. Yeah, that bacon's fire, dude. That's a good bacon. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Let me talk about the, so about the halibut real quick uh -huh. and the sauce. You're gonna sear that halibut on here. The halibut you're gonna have seared, put on here, glaze it with the sauce, and then take a little dollop hey, Mike. on each one. So, just... so put the fish on. Time, buddy, come on. All Time, right. okay. And now keep stirring this up, watch this. He didn't say we couldn't do sign language. Make sure it's good crab. All right, cool. You need another shot? Where's mine? Now, tell us about what happened. I didn't, never really talked to him about the ingredients for the fried rice, and so he wouldn't have known what we should have put in there. So I just pretty much put everything in there already. So let me tell you what he did. He left and went and used the facilities. Yes. Then he came back and he met some of the grounds people and smoked huh? a cigarette. <laughs> Walked over here and saw the rabbit and poultry barn. <laughs> and then he decided to come back. You think I, that I helped? Think 
I think if you haven't done shows like this before, I've done a lot of these shows, and the time just goes, especially towards the <laughs> end. Yeah. Yeah. What's that time? Nobody knows. They keep saying different times. Tina, you need to use I mean, uh, is this time? No, not yet. He's doing it. Really? You know, it's like baseball. I'm sending him signals, you know, like a, like a catcher. Hey, Peyton, give me a play-by-play -play down there. So what we got right now is I asked him how he felt knowing he left and came back and his mentor took over for him. He said, well, he was just glad somebody was going to do it right. <laughs> He's just calm and collective. He's got this. This ain't his first rodeo is what he told me earlier. Hunter, you're laser focused, right? Oh, man, he's straightforward. He's, he's hunting it. and pecking right now. My coach is about to pull her hair out, I can tell. He said he thinks you're about to pull your hair out up there. <laughs> I can feel the eyes on the back of my head. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And that's your glasses on the back of <laughs> Hey guys, what do you think about the prize packages you're cooking on? The grills, the icy tech coolers. Yoder gave you the best of the best. Are you using everything you got? Well, I mean, I got a tribal fire grill right here. How can I not have everything I need? Boom. Now look at that rice, dude. Yeah. You got I the know. shrimp in there? I know, they're actually cooking too. Tina, you may just need to use your three minute save just to find out what they're doing. <laughs> You know what, at this point? He hasn't looked at the salmon in a while. Hey, Will. Yes, sir. Have you checked out their salmon lately? I didn't know they were cooking salmon. You're standing well, right Well, you are. Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> this ship looks like they're finally about cooked. I know. It took them a minute, didn't it? Yeah. Hey, Will, Hunter, any idea where I could get some of that fish? What, some of this fish? Yeah. Um, you can get it online. Yeah, from a... Oh, yeah. Great company called Maine Lobster. Get Maine Lobster. Get Maine Lobster. They have more than just lobster. I tell you what, if you win, would you order some of that? I definitely don't would. It looks good, don't Heck yeah. Yep. Don't ruin it. Yeah, please don't. Hey, Mark, how much time we got? 25. 25 minutes. Ring it like you mean it. Ring it all the way down. There. Ring it up. Uh -oh. Ring it all the way. Clock's ticking. <laughs> good call. Oh, wow. Good call. I'm proud it with me because he don't get another turn. I think they paired up. Well, I think Hunter, very serious, and Tina is. Not good. Take it off. Take it off, take it off, take it off. And let's put it on that pan. Is that pan OK? Yes, ma'am, we just All had right. corn on it. Flip the skin down. Then All I was right. going to stick it in there. Yes. Yes, 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 that's yes, what yes, I was. Yes, you think the judge is looking for medium rare or medium? How do you like it? You're going to be eating it with us. I'm like, it's the best thing I ever ate. Win. <laughs> They're not counting appearance, but I, you know, I've got a chef background. I like things to look good. So, okay, what's the fresh cilantro for? The corn. Yeah, that's true. Don't you want that crisp? Everyone's gonna sit down and taste it together. So. I sound like I'm being a big B, but I'm, did you season this? Yes, ma'am. Happen that way, isn't it? Okay. So yeah, the corn, dip okay. it in that, sprinkle that, put this I over didn't the want to come yet. And then I was worried about the fish from a distance. What about that salmon? That's yeah, take it I'm off. Do you have another pan? It's about done. It's, it's about yeah. done. Yeah. Got good flavor. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Just keep working. Keep it just like that. That's how it is. Mm-hmm. Well, talk to me a little bit about uh, Royal Oak. Yeah, I've been an ambassador for them for a few years now and um, yeah. It's my favorite charcoal in the world. Okay. It's a um, family owned company, which I love, not like the giant conglomerate charcoal mm -hmm. companies that might be out there. Okay. Um, it's a Georgia based company, but they take the wood from Missouri where I live. So a lot of these other big companies bring it in from South America and other places like that. We don't know what's going in there. These are beautiful oak trees from the from the Ozarks. They employ a lot of people in Missouri and it's just a great, great company. This is on yours, right? Yes, ma'am, on the halibut. It. It's a little salty. I like the lump stuff. It's more natural to me. A lot of the briquettes have fillers and stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The natural charcoal from uh, Royal Oak to me is the best. Burns hot and long. What is your favorite, lump, briquette? Lump. You like lump. the lump? lump. Okay. I prefer lump, okay. yeah. The idea of barbecue country, though, is to find the best backyard cooks, and our brand partners are, are the ones, but. Hey, Tina, you think it's been three minutes yet? I'm gonna ignore him. I'm gonna give her one more minute? You, you okay with yeah. that? Yeah. Because she gave yeah. you an extra minute. Oh, yeah. They're gonna need it. So I'm gonna trust you to make the decision, okay? Hey, Tina, we need you to bring your bell and come back this way, please. The no, salmon over the halibut. I want you to taste each one, that? and that's the one I want you to plate. She's okay. been in the pit way too long. Cheaters, cheaters. Vamanos, cheater. Cheater, get out, cheater. <laughs> Can you bring the, uh, and join us, please? Cheater. <laughs> 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 All right, so you were down there so long, I almost had to start charging you rent oh. down there. How's the sauce tasting good? I right. tasted his crema. Salty. How close is it now? 
It's right on, man. It's ready. Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Perfect. money. That's money. Yeah. This is between us here, and I guess the people watching this after the fact. Uh, I think my dish is better. I've not yet heard you say what you're turning in as one dish, two dish. Are you both doing the halibut and salmon? Or are you just doing one or the other? So do you have no, two proteins? No, 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 oh, he's no, doing no, it. No, no, I told him to glaze the fish. Oh, why is he plating already? It's all about the backyard. He's way with the jackets. If you're not backyarding it, you're not backyarding it. Hey, Mark, is he plating already? Oh, yeah. What do you think? He said we're finna eat in five minutes. He said it's ready. This dude is. <laughs> you don't make that stuff up. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will let you translate through Tina what needs to be said if she will do that for you. Will you and you, then you let me tell her You that? get to do the same with him. You agree? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. You have to get his attention and hope he believes you. Will, Will, I'm delivering a message to you. Yes, ma'am. Be sure to sauce the fish. Toss the fish. Sauce, don't toss it. Oh, sauce, sauce. It. oh. Sauce. Okay. And then go take a smoke break. The mustard on the salmon? Mustard on salmon be good. Now it's your turn. Your turn. What do you want me to tell him? Be sure to check the temps on the fish. You got to get his attention. Hey, Hunter, be sure to check the temps on your fish. Yes, I just did. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> How much time we got, Mark? He said he's about three minutes out down here. Oh, no. <laughs> I broke my fish. It'll be all right. Just glue it back there with some more yeah. of that. Some more of that sauce. Sauce is the boss. Hey, Hunter. Yes, sir. Your guys are finishing and holding. How close are you? I'm done. I'm, I'm just waiting on y'all. How close are you to being plated? That was a strategy to okay. go all the way up to the end of time and get his cold. All right. <laughs> but are you close? I'm getting close. How much time I got? 10 minutes. We got 10 more minutes. But if you're ready early, both of you are ready, we can go on and eat. I'm ready. So, Hunter. Yes, sir. Will is ready, and you got about 10 minutes. You going to make it? I can do uh, probably five and be good. I don't know, judging from what I saw, what he threw on the grill, he needs about an hour and a half. Hey, if you're ready, do what you do. Hey, I've, I've got it right here in, the, in my warmer. I call, I call it the waiting on him box. Is he drinking? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna step away. Let's get Nashville it. recording artist Peyton Aldridge up here because I know he can sing, but he's gonna have a big laugh. Man. You think you could write a song about Will? Hey, no doubt. He's smoking in the pit. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> what are you doing? Y'all ready to eat? I got some food for you. It's right here. Oh, my God. It's right here. Hey, wait a minute. Now, in about like, three minutes, Will, you got to take it inside of the host table. Cigarette. No. I'm saving my best for last. <laughs> hey, you're killing me. need to check and make sure that's tobacco. <laughs> you know, he could be an opener for you. He could. He could be a comedian. I think we ought to go on tour together. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he should go on TV, right? He, he should. He should. I, hey, you should pursue that. You got a talent. Hey, you about ready, Hunter? If he makes it through, <laughs> I'm going to have to rearrange my whole thought process. I know. He might have to change to your life. We got five. Five minutes left, y'all. If you're ready early, we'll go. I got something special here for you. Bring it on. Hope you like halibut and salmon. I don't know how you made it look that good, but you did. Wow, what an amazing cook. Food looks great. You guys ready? Before we get started, if y'all don't mind, Let's say a quick blessing over this food. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for these people and the food and the hands to prepare it. Please watch over and care for us and guide us along the way. And please help us to be a shining light for you in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, guys, we have the owner of Get Main Lobster right. sitting at the <laughs> table with us. No way, right? Yeah, Nova Scotia halibut. Right and uh, Scottish salmon. Let's start with the elote and the halibut of Hunter's. Fish is cooked perfect. You know, it's juicy. I mean, it's got a little crust in there. Is that pineapple? Yes. Yeah. A little grilled pineapple. Dude, that corn has got some yeah. flavor, too. That corn's phenomenal. It's awesome. Oh. Get Maine lobster. Get Maine corn now. <laughs> Definitely got tough competition right here. Then let's move on to the second dish. Honestly, the salmon's cooked like, I mean, I don't know how you can cook it any better. I'm not a big salmon person, but the salmon's very good. 
I love the wasabi mustard on the halibut. Woke me up. You know, it's my first time to get halibut. The way I look at it, it's a very mild fish. I love it. I'm hooked. No pun intended. What's in the fried rice? Shrimp, crab meat, bacon. I really think you showed up and showed off. I mean, this is some good stuff. Mark, we have a decision to make. I'm not done eating. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys, as a team, will take it to the well to gather, to wish, to do whatever you mean, <laughs> we'll make a decision and we'll meet you there and we'll know who has won this challenge for today. Do you guys think you won for real? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think y'all did too. Oh, you were talking all big. <laughs> and you're quiet. You were very laser focused. Do you notice that? Was that your norm or you That's just my norm, yeah. I don't get no? I don't get usually right. I always up. get in a you know, matter what. Even right. if I know what I'm doing. I was going crazy on the inside, yeah, trust okay. me. But oh, I was right. just really glad you cleared off the grill in time for me to cook my halibut because I thought for a second there I wasn't gonna be able to cook it. <laughs> was, you was, lose. Yeah, I was glad I was glad when that corn came off. Yeah. So I noticed you why did you you just did that did, were you rushing it? What? Or were you trying to get the char on the corn? Get the char on the corn. Okay. I was thinking up there talking to Russ. I was like, I wonder if the smoker's not hot enough. Well the smoker ran out of pellets. I, was, I looked I saw over you and filling I, it up. Did y'all see that? Uh -uh. Oh. Yeah, the smoker well, ran out of pellets. I think you were on your break. I was too busy showboating. I think you were on your break. <laughs> I got to pee right now. I still do. Yeah, yeah, see? I'm, yeah. Way, I'm holding mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't know. Well, you made both dishes, but from when we were sitting up there, yeah. he was saying that you were only supposed to do one. I know, <laughs> but at the same time, I look at equal challenges yeah. on each of those fish have their own challenges. You both cooked really good. Yeah, and they were both cooked really well, and that was really, I wanted to hit perfect. my flavor points. Did you use a thermometer? Mm, I did, but I I did it on the salmon, mm -hmm. because I, I'm not used to smoking salmon like that. Mm -hmm. Who do you think won? We did. Hey. Why is that? It was the best. Because the fish was cooked the best. What do you think? Tell me what you think about it. Tell you what, both of y'all, seriously though, y'all absolutely killed it today. It was incredible. Well, Hunter, I just want to say, man, y'all's fish was absolutely incredible. I think the tropical flavors brought everything out, and I, I think that was really incredible. Awesome. It's really good. And he said, this is the best corn I've ever Hands had. Hands down, best corn I've ever put in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, I'm taking I like that. I like the corn. That corn, corn was awesome. It was. Yeah. I'm going to take yeah. that recipe home. Yeah. Killer. So before we need to, I'm going to exchange numbers today, you got to give me that recipe. That corn recipe. No problem. Will, you taught me something today. Oh. I learned we're cooking backyard. Don't take, think, take things so serious. Chill out and have fun. Yeah. And you learned me something about that. And at first I was all nervous and I was I was worried. And then I was like, man, this dude's just having fun. I'm yeah. gonna sit there and have fun well, with him. Yeah, I took the backyard to the front yard today. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what, man, you know, it's, uh, it's all about, it's just about having fun. It's about uh, passion for food. I'll tell you well, what, you're the, the life of the party, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the rice is a great idea. I think it really was. You had a lot of good ingredients in there. The execution may off a little bit on the rice. It probably should have been a little hotter and maybe, you know, you. you Dump some lump crab meat in there that yeah. kind of got mixed in, and that stuff's awesome. Maybe right yeah. at the last minute, that would have helped to have bigger chunks of that. Yep. In general, the yep. flavor was good, and uh, the mustard sauce, I loved it. It was a little strong for halibut, I think. Yeah. And the salmon, it was cooked great. I think both of those fish were tiny bit overcooked, not bad, and they were great, and I ate every bit of them on my plate. So based on what you see and what you tasted, mm -hmm. who do you think won? We did. Uh, me personally? Yeah. I think maybe they did. Well. I'm not saying there's a better. I, I, I told him I think it's a 50 50 toss up. All right, the winner of today's challenge is Hunter. Oh! Yes. <laughs> it's always better this time. Great job. <laughs> Man, you brought it through at the end. I'm proud of you. You guys will get to come back and cook for the finale. So. Congratulations. It was a very close match. You know, I saw what he was going in with. You know, some of the flavors that he was uh, describing to put on his dish. And I'll be honest, I was a little nervous there in the beginning. 
Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak Lump Charcoal for the ultimate flavor experience. Royal Oak Lump Charcoal gives your food the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Since 1953, Royal Oak is the only brand proudly made in the USA from sustainably sourced natural hardwoods and nothing else. Don't be fooled by those imported brands made from irresponsibly chopping down whole trees. Unleash your inner pit master with Royal Oak and use the number one lump charcoal in America trusted by barbecue pros and backyard grillers. This is Barbecue Country. Two great pit masters, two great backyard cooks. I think you did a fantastic job. Now, tell me what you think your weaknesses were and your strengths, starting with Mike Johns. Our strengths were Will did a great job. I mean, he was really focused until he, he wandered off. And no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, no, I was just really impressed. I mean, I thought it was a close race. And, um, you know, I didn't really notice a lot of weaknesses. Just uh, if I would have been a little more prepared, I think I'd need to take some of the blame for it, for us not winning. Um, I could have explained stuff a little better, maybe written on the chalkboard, like you said. I just wanted to hit my flavor points, and I wanted to make sure that my fish was cooked properly, and I did that. And by doing so, I call today a success. And um, if anything, I, I learned from this. I've got, it's invaluable what I've gained by being here today. Well. Glad you made it. You're still coming back for the finale, so don't give Absolutely. up on barbecue country. Oh no, I'm not done. I mean, I'm going from backyard to front yard. I'm taking it <laughs> right now. <laughs> Hunter, Tina, you guys won. You tasted their food. What did you think? We won. That's I like what it. I think. I like it. And, and you wonder why Hunter was intimidated by her. <laughs> <laughs> the difference today was this. Two great products served. Yep. Mike, Will, you served two pieces of fish. One of them was off the hook. The other one was a little over. Mm -hmm. Your side dish, it just didn't hit its mark. Uh, yep. Some was a little overcooked, some was a little mushy. That was probably the difference. And then turning to you guys, both the corn and the single fish that you did, unbelievable. You guys are moving on to the semifinals. You guys are gonna come back to the semifinals. We got a little parting <laughs> gift for everybody being here. Barbecue Country and Party Spirits has engraved a bottle that you can cherish, cool. take home with you, and know that you're in Barbecue Country. Great day, Barbecue Country. Mark, Get Main Lobster, you brought fantastic product. We tried to give these contestants just the best of the best. The best of the best, and you exceeded that. Tell us about what you gave us today. Appreciate that. I brought it over myself when I flew in the other day, and um, I'm lucky enough to have an amazing fishmonger that serves all the top restaurants in the area. So I knew halibut from Nova Scotia and Scottish North Atlantic salmon would be perfect uh, for this. So I'm excited that it turned out the way it did. Tell you what, it was absolutely incredible. Better than yeah. expected for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. These guys did a great job too. You know, you came in here last night and you had a box and you opened it and you started telling me about where each piece of fish came from. Yeah. And then when we got into it, it was amazing. How do you come across that through Get Main Lobster? Yeah. So everybody knows us as lobster and that's 95% of what we sell. But we happen to be really good at picking out amazing fish and in season, right? Because there are certain times of the year, for example, bluefin season's coming up in Maine as some of the best bluefin in the world. So in the summertime, if you can get your hands on bluefin sea, you know, fresh catch, then you want to do that. And, of course, get me a lobster. Can do Absolutely. That. As so, I say, we just go right there. Exactly. Crab, clams, scallops, whatever. Yeah. Everything, mussels. Awesome. Yeah, we even do some value add. We have a lobster mac and cheese that is yeah. awesome. That's what I'm talking right? about. Well, if these pit masters and these contestants just absolutely fell in love with it like I did, yeah. how do they get it to their door? It's super easy. You just go to getmainlobster.com, mm -hmm. couple clicks, give us the shipping address, you can arrive in your house as early as tomorrow. Mark, I hear there may be a surprise in a future episode from Get Main Lobster. There is, coming very, very soon. And it will be lobster this time, not fresh catch fish. We weren't mad at the fish, though. <laughs> no. So you know. 
But lobster, right? But lobster is always That's there. a different ball game. I wasn't mad at the fish or the party whiskey, man. There you go. Well, thank you for being here, and you're in barbecue country. Hey, we had a great cook here today in barbecue country. The next episode, we're going to have Carl Lewis and John Lindsay here to mentor our next round of Backyard Cooks. And they have the chance to win the title for America's Best Backyard Cook. We'll see you next time on Barbecue Country. for cast and crew are provided by Holiday Inn Express and Suites in beautiful Lebanon, Tennessee.